series was released from 1887 to 1890, and you can date them based on the overall appearance of the cards. So in early 1887, they released a series called the Script Series, and that's what you can see right here. And so there's very few subjects in the set, but their names are written in script on the actual picture. What's that? No, the next series the was the zero or the short number series. You know, in the upper corner up here, you can yeah. see a small number. It's not going to be having a zero in front of it. It's just going to be a number. And there was about 100, 150 cards in that particular set, but it's still a pretty limited number of cards. Then they did a mass release that are the zero number series. And you can kind of see they come in two varieties, either with the scroll up top with the old judge cigarettes with the number in the upper corner, or the same cards can be often found with every, the name and everything like that down on the bottom with the old judge cigarettes in a box that's also the zero number series sometimes those are a little more faded all of these date to 1887 then in 1888 they came out with two different varieties of design and you can see those two right here and they'll say old judge then cigarettes and then the brand underneath so those are the two varieties that can be dated to 1888, even though the slips usually say something wrong. And then in 1889, they switch from that design to the Old Judge Cigarette Factory. So these are dated 1889. Now some cards from the 1889 series, they did a limited release in 1890 that has these same cards. But the only way you can tell if it's an 1890s is if the team has been changed. And those cards are very rare because oftentimes what they'll do is they'll refer to people playing for the Chicago NL or Chicago PL for Players League, which started in 1890. And those 1890 cards are extremely rare and extremely hard to find. So that's old judge cards in a little bit of a nutshell.